Well, folks, I am here at Abington Fishery. I'm going to try and catch a fish, if you remember. A uh, gentleman called Steve sent me um, some fly tackle from his friend Tony, Tony Palmer, who unfortunately passed away at the tender age of 40. And he said he couldn't uh, bring himself to fish with the, with the gear. Um, it's been in his garage or wherever for a couple of years. Would I have a go and try and catch something with it? So I'm down here at Abington Fishery. Now, originally, if you follow my last couple of shows, two, three shows ago, was it? I was gonna put it on an old, I think it was like a condylon rod. Uh, somebody had uh, sent me as well. I tried it, it's very, very soft because this reel is, you know, obviously Tony must have been a reservoir angler because it's a big reel. There, you can see it. It is a Cobra and then it's got 78 on it. Interchangeable spools. The other problem I've got, it's got four spools, but I don't know which one's a floating line, sinking line. I think I know the sinker and the floating line. I'll try this one first. Maybe Steve knows. A bit late now, but the water and that. And fly there, green fly with a gold head. Um, nice long leader. So I'm using my Martech fly rod. They're not selling them, it's just an old one. You, know, you probably can't even buy them now, this one. I don't know, it's about good, it's over 30 years old. Because it's pretty pokey. I use it for bonefish. That's what I use for bonefish and the bigger trout. So basically, I'm going to try and catch basically any trout I can in memory of Tony. So, I'm going to take it quite seriously. I'm travelling light. I'm only going to be using this handheld camera. With a little bit of sun, the clouds up there, I'll put you up there, are whistling past. This afternoon, they're giving 35 miles an hour in wind. Now, as you can see here at Arrington, it is very, very sheltered. I've got a nice long lake here. I'm going to put my Polaroids on because with that light I might just see the old fish. There's other anglers here turning up now fishing. So I need to get cracking guys. Let's get the polarizing glasses on and see if we can't spot something for Tony. Well, they might spot it, we've got to catch it, but pressure's on. Now this reel's got just like a right hand wide reel, which is not great for me because I am not uh, a left handed. So I'm going to call it a right hand wide, so I'm sort of back to front and the drag system here I'll just tighten him up a bit, is there, but the free spool is geared, we'll have a talk about these later, is, uh, is on the wrong side for me, so I'm sort of fishing back to front if that makes sense. So I'm going to give this a go, um, I forgot my polarising glasses, they're in the car, but with other anglers turning up, I come straight to a spot, I thought, I saw once a brown trout here, and I didn't actually catch it, I thought I picked it and lost it, but there was a fish moving around there, and indeed, there is a fish I can see with that polarising glass is just laying there in the shadow. I figure before other anglers cover it, it's got to be worth a shot. And I've no idea how fast this fly is sinking. Came up and turned away, boys. He came up and turned away. I think there's a smokiness in the water. Over there, those swans have been feeding. I think they just sort of stirred it up a little bit. So, I think what I've got to do, just be careful I don't get a take in close there. I think I have got to get my polarising glasses. Here at Abington, sometimes you can walk up and if nobody's been on that stretch of lake and you're the first one down there, the first cast can literally get a take before they wise up and realise that the anglers are on the bank. It's terrible this fishing light, guys, because <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to walk to the car, I'm over there by that tree, I'm supposed to walk to the car, get my glasses, and I thought, I'm just going to look here, and of course I've walked round, and the sun's behind me, so I've actually seen, I've actually seen a fish moving along here. So I sort of want to get a cast in, if I can, sp spot it again. But it's so stupid, just go to the car and get your glasses, Graham. No, you never know, I've got to have a drop in there. It's got to be done. Oh, there he is, he's right in close. He's right under here, under my feet. Right under my feet, people. Oh, yeah, it looks like a nice rainbow. Too much current for the fly, I think. He's right down there, I can see him. He is not looking one bit. Got him on, boys. Got him on. Got him on. Oh my God! I didn't even. I didn't even see if this rule was any good. Now, 
I've got a fish on for Tony. Oh my God, it could be a big one, boys. It could be a big fish. It could be a big fish. I do know what, I didn't see anything. I just went to lift off and the fish was there. I'm gonna walk him down this way. Well, Tony, I don't know what your biggest trout is, mate. Oh, I dare say you've had some really good fish, but I'm telling you what, I think this is a rainbow and I think it's a really nice fish. I'm sorry I'm playing this sort of left-handed because I'm trying to keep the, the tension on it. Oh, beauty, lovely fish. Lovely fish, lovely fish, lovely fish. I'm looking for a gap to even attempt to net him on. Just drop the net down there and get it ready. My net's held together with gaffer tape, as you can gather there. It's already broken on the arm, but trust me, there's been a few fish in it. It's a weird, I'm playing the fish back to front. Normally I have my right hand here and I'll be winding there. Oh, it's a lovely rainbow. It is a lovely fish. Silver, silver as anything. Absolutely silver. Look at him over there. Look, 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 that's a big fish. Tony, I think this fish is probably approaching six pounds or more. I'm not sure about this drag. Oh, it's a big one. This is a big fish. That's better. I've got to play with my right hand. This fish is over six pounds, boys. Pretty sure. Pretty sure he's over six pounds. I think that's a gap to take him there. Well, that's a bit of luck. You see, just a hunch of not going to get my glasses might, might have got me that fish. This is weird left-handed reel. What a shame it's not a right-hander. Here comes the fish, boys. He's down, oh wow, yeah, he's got to be six. Got to be six of anybody's money. Oh, Tony, I'll tell you what, you've certainly, uh, you certainly got a good fish on the end of this, on your fly, and your reel and line. What a cracker. If I get it, if I get it, Tony. Well, look at that fly rod, boys. That tells me it's a good fish. Look at the fly rod. Absolutely folded round. It's a beautiful silver rainbow. Just gonna ease him, he's just nipped in the top there. I don't want him getting the fly or the leader. Oh, come on. I told you about being the first angler walking down the lakes. Oh man, he's fighting. It's this current. You can see the current coming down there. Oh, I can't rim control it. If he comes off, he comes off, mate. It's just the way it is. Doing the best I can here. And it's also Tony's leader. Now, perhaps this is a mistake. Look at this fish go. Steve, who sent me the gear, told me he hadn't used it for, is it two or three years it's been in the garage? Hang on a minute. <laughs> I haven't changed the leader. I haven't changed the leader. <laughs> come on, come on now, okay, let's get this fish for Tony. Come on, babe, come on. Come on, oh, this is, this could be seven, Tony, this could be seven. I've got him, no, I haven't. Yeah, he's in, mate, he's in. Oh, wow. Look at this fish. I've got Tony's priest. So, for those who are squeamish disposition and general snowflakes, this is how I put the fish to bed with one of these. Beautiful colours of the rainbow here. And thin, perfect, this one really is. Look at the tail on this, the paddle on that. That's why I've got such a good scrap out of it. Superb fish. I think Tony would be well pleased with that one. Let's just get the fly out of it and I'll show it to you. Show you, ouch. It's like a gold head damsel, Tony's fly there. And listen, <laughs> I can't believe how old this leader is and I haven't changed it. Let's check this fish out. Lovely looking fish. So there you go, people. All plan came together there immediately. I only just walked up here. That's the sort of fishing you can get here. There you go, Tony. That's one for you. It's 
So Tony, there you go, at least that's a good fish for you. Um, on your, your fly, your, your very old leader. That leader was what you tied on there, I guess. I just picked it out and used it. Fly, leader, reel, line, and priest to put it to bye-byes. Really nice looking fish here. But of course, I've gone to get my polarizing glasses and you guessed it, the clouds have come over and now we all know I probably won't see another fish. But if I don't, I don't. I'm gonna have a good go spotting now. The pressure's off. I'm gonna have a walk around and see if I can't pick. I'm not gonna be greedy and say an even bigger one out, but I'll see if I can spot another one. Hopefully before this wind comes up. Another thing, the dafts, the old daffodils this year, look. They're in a sorry state with all the rain we've been getting. They're colorful, but they're starting to go over already. Been a, it's been a most peculiar year, certainly for wind and rain. And again, as I say, they're talking more wind already this afternoon, 35 miles an hour. The other two anglers have gone up on the middle lake. I think they might have walked past something here. I always look at this lake first. Well, now, because I've got polarizing glasses on, I can actually see some smaller trout in here, which I've got a feeling might be brown trout. It's not great light, but they're very, very deep. We've just been talking with Aaron, the fishery manager, and I said, I can't see any fish in the stock ponds, you know, that uh, they feed on. On the surface, he said, no, all the, all the fish this time of year are deep. They're all deep in the stock ponds. So if they're deep in the stock ponds, they're probably pretty well deep in the lakes. I'm just jiggling that fly around there, guys. Just bouncing it up and down. And there is a difference between casting and catching. The two are poles apart when you get to small water fishing. Sometimes there is absolutely no need for long casting. On other occasions, that felt like a bump, Graham. On other occasions, it's always worth a long cast, a long throw. Okay, let's keep moving, boys. Oh, this one, this one, this one. Oh my God. That could be a monster brown. It's down there. There's a piece of weed. I'm going to keep dead still. There's a piece of weed floating across there. I do not want to lose this fly up the back there because this is Tony's fly. Oh, on the money, on the money. He is not interested, I don't think. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. He's got it. Holy cow. Tony, what is this tackle you've given me? He's away. He's away with the fairies, this one. He's, he's going up the road, he's going into the lodge for a tea. Look, he's cutting right on the far bank there. OMG. I hope you got that on camera, people. That was as sweet a take as you could ever wish, wish for. And this is a geared reel, so it, as I wind one turn, it gets a load of line in. Wow, that was something. I've got the glasses on, I can actually see him racing towards the fly, saw his mouth go bomb. So weird fighting a fish left handed. Plus the old arthritis don't help. Oh, that's another nice one. <laughs> Away he goes. Because they got these full tails on them, guys. They are very, very good scrap. He's right on the other bank. He's gone right back to the other side. Oh, no, there's a snag over there too, I remember. If you remember, oh, still losing line. Oh dear, hang on a minute, people. He's right by the snag, he's right by the snag, he's right by the snag. Oh, maximum pressure. Walk back as well, keep that pack pressure on there. Oh, he's right by the snake, he's taking me down the lake. I think he's turned, I think he might have turned. I'll tell you how much line he's taken out. You can see the orange of the back in there. So he's got three quarters of the fly line out. I never realized how weak my left wrist was. And here we go, now I'm in trouble. I've got to get down on top of him. Oh, 
What a scrapper. <laughs> he's gone, oh no, he's gone to the snag again. I'm sorry about this people, I'm doing the best I can. And this is my bonefish rod. I just cannot get any strength on this uh, left wrist. Tweak that drag up a little bit. Just carefully. He's there, I'm gonna try and get him down to the same spot if I can. Come on fish. Give give us and give Tony a break. I've got a feeling this one's gonna crank off again. It's a beautiful silver fish. got that little bit of current flow to play with. Okay, we're getting, getting near net time. I think he's bigger than the last one, people. I think he might be bigger than the last one. Oh dear me, that's a nice rainbow, here he comes, wish me luck guys, here wish me luck, he's in, he's in, <laughs> wow we. that one is even bigger, there's the fly, there's the fish, what a spanking great big fish, the size of that one, Two fish for you, Tony. Let's get him banged on the head. Big fish, boys. I'm going very slowly. Straight down there, there's a dark shape in that shadow line. Watch that back cast. Man, it's tricky seeing them. Okay. That cast is almost almost perfect and the fish treats that cast with what looks like total contempt I'm not going to lift that fly off till the last moment because he might just zoom up here and just grab it right under my feet no that could have been a brown trout I'm going to go on the middle lake and have a good old cast with this one and see what this line is like with this this rod feels like a really nice line i just got to find a way maybe I can reverse this and make this a left hand wind reel like that I'm just slowly walking along this bank but you can see how much rain we have through the winter because I've got the light behind me if I do the other bank I think at this stage the light will be in my face a bit until it gets higher in winter the sun goes around a lot lower there's a fish one two fish there smaller ones now going to be really picky now people I'm going to be very very picky so I'm going to spend a bit of time just walking around like this just scouting the area seeing if I can stumble across either a slow cruiser or what we call a static I do like statics because they've been laying happily in that one spot like here you could get one just laying under that tree probably more towards the summer when it's all leafed up it'll throw more shade not a lot of shade there at the moment because there's you know winter there's no leaves on the trees but you could just here at Abington you could stumble across there's another three pound or four pounder going along there you could stumble across an absolute animal so I'm just going to have a walk around I've got well not all day I mean you know me guys this is an early start for me 10 to 11 <laughs> I think the people have been and gone by now now just walking from the first lake to the main big lake look at the ripple on that because it's far more open 
So I will go down there, but I'll be, I won't be able to see a fish there. You see, I'll be fishing blind. Here's a good spot. Look, I'm just creepy. See if I see any shapes down there. And I've got the tree as a screen. Now I'm going to work my way round. I cannot believe those two fish. This must be some lucky fly line you've given me. Oh, there's one. Two, two. It'd be nice to get a brownie. That's a, oh, look at these fish down here. Oh my God. Right in front of me, people. Right in front of me. Down deep on the gravel. Oh, oh there's a brownie. That is 100% a brownie. I can't, I can't really move and eat. Oh, here he comes. There's a trout down there. He's spooked. There's the brownie, there's the brownie. Nothing, that's appalling. Treating me like that. They don't realise how famous they could be on the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. Wow, that wind is blowing now. Hat's going to be off in a minute. I think guys are going to have a quick walk around that bank, but look how it's rippled up already. And that really stuffs me for spotting individual fish. I'll be down to blind casting. Yeah, let's make the move. Now, as soon as I move around this side, straight into the sun, I've got the ripple and I've got no vision at all. I cannot see through that water at all. What I fancy doing is going right up by those trees at the top where, where I saw that one fish. If you remember I made the first cast, because something like a brown, even a big rainbow is going to be fairly territorial, so there's a good chance that he's going to be lying up in that spot. And I'm, I'm just walking along looking, trying to see something, but I can't. I can just fish blind here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try and, try and get a different species if I can for Tony. Let's have a walk up there. Hopefully the wind hasn't got that far up there yet fishing just dragging the fly behind me. Gonna see down here there used to be a big tree overhanging there and uh, that would be a good area and I wonder if it's still deep. Oh hang on I'm on. <laughs> I'm just dragging the fly through the water then. Oh my goodness. It's another big rainbow. Wow just moving the fly. I'm just going along, dragging the fly like this, tweaking as I go, looking up here and talking. Next thing I know, the line's going through my fingers. That's a five pounder again, look. That is absolutely a five pounder again. Wow, good fish. Babe. Come on, babe. So you can get lucky with him. Tell you what, Tony, this fly is uh, pretty useful. I picked the right one out of 250 flies there, that's for certain. Well, he's not going anywhere. He wants that snag in there, is where he wants. Oh, come on. Oh, not quite. I can't quite get an angle on him. He's only swimming himself. Beautiful. And there we go. It's time for tea. Well, the old fly's getting a bit chewed here. I've come on the big lake, but it is so windy I can only, this way, back cast. I can't cast this way, it's gonna push the fly line onto my face, too dangerous. So I'm gonna try and throw my fly line up in here and give it a go, that's all I can do. I just gotta find the way. If I can get a back cast in and try this fly line out. Feels like a nice soft line. I'm sure Tony had some good gear, far better than I use. Right, let's... Oh yeah, this cast's nice. I've got the, I've got the whole length that I've stripped off out there already. Yeah. I think it'll take a lot more than that. 
So of course this is also, now there's a taper. So I'm thinking this might be a forward taper fly line. It looks like a floater, so I picked the right one. I'm going to do fast retrieves, fast tweaks. That makes that marabou tail on the back of the uh, fly pulsate. Yeah, I just talked to Aaron and he said the wind's going to be a pain on this lake in a minute, another hour or so. So I'm going to get what casting in I can. I've got to go back casting, I can't. I don't want to get way out. Just give it a bit of time to sink. I've got to work out if this is going to be a left hand retrieve, which is standard this way. I see, I'm watching the other two anglers and they're using very slow retrieve. So I'm going to try, bring it up a gear and do faster retrieves, make that fly move a bit, try and get a fish to snap at it. fish hooked up boys so this is where this reel comes into its own is I can pick all this loose fly line up like this really really quickly it is indeed a rainbow wow it's either a good fly a good fly line or a good angler he's near the end He's in boys, he's in. Wow. Another prime Abington rainbow trout on this outfit. So Tony mate, I think we've done you proud with some good fish there. I'm well, well pleased, pleased with that line. That cast beautifully. So if you have a good taste in line, anybody out there know what type of line this is? I don't personally know myself. I think it's a forward taper by the taper that uh, disappears when I've got about 25 yards out. But I've got to make it turn the other way. But that has surely got to be another six pluser. And look at the tail, it's like a sea trout. Beautiful. Here he comes in the sunlight, people. Oh, look at the tail on that. That is pretty good, eh? What do you think? Bring that camera up so that you can see. Crackerjack fish. Caught blind, just fishing blind there, just stripping in slowly. Well, fast, short, fast tweaks, that I find works best. And that is a beauty. He yeah, has the other side of six pounds, this one. What a beaut. Well, I've pulled off a couple of fish over here in the catch and release lake on uh, Barbara's fly. Moved back round here and I've put the fly up the tree. So Tony's lucky fly <laughs> ain't so lucky anymore, it's up the tree. The only thing I can say is, guys, it's better than his fly than my fly. Trouble is, I put a pearly daddy on here because that was the only fly I could find in Tony's box that I fancied here. And the problem being is this. His, let's say Tony is, and I don't know, but I'm assuming with the gear that we got here is a reservoir angler. Look at this, look, look, look. I just put the rod down straight into a bramble. Don't fight it, don't fight it. Sitting in this lovely little cave here, look at this, all, all, all sort of thatched around there, it's pretty good. And this view is my office view here, people. So the thing being, with a reservoir, you have 
possibly an unweighty fly, but you use the weight, the density of the fly line to take it down to the depth you want. You're using the weight of the fly line. When you go small water fishing, which is lakes up to a few acres, you're you're using the weight of the fly and not the fly line because a lot of them have floating lines only which I'm on so you need to get that fly down to the depth I've already said earlier on that uh, Aaron was saying that here the fish are at the present time deep so it's, it's difficult what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the leader because I've lost about four feet of leader and it's just not casting a fly right so I'll go back and have some lunch I'm going to go to uh, Tony's box see if I can find anything else but I'm going to work my way up extend the leader to one of my bits, um, five pound max or six pound, six pound max I think I'm on and I don't know what le leader this is and then we'll just see if we can't pick a fish up on the way, have some lunch, run through the fly box because I'm quite fancy. I've had a few casts with my own damsel which is normally good, no bumps, no pulls, no nothing. So I figure they want that green bead head damsel and that's it for the day. Anyway let's extend this out. Well, I'm all rigged up again. I've got a smaller size pearly daddy on and I've got some uh, ex leader extension about three or four feet. Let's walk up the other lake and see if I can't pick one off and then we go and have some lunch and check out the fly box. It's almost like the worst light this because uh, you can see it's patchy blue, white cloud, blue, white cloud. And the white cloud reflects on the surface and that can make it really tough as well. Anyway, let's march on back. Nobody wants to fish this side, you see, because it's a wind in your face there. There's a fish, cruising fast. I don't think it's a taker, but you never know. You never know. It looks a spooky one to me. He looks pretty spooky. Now oh, I just throw it through casts. A few, a few throws at him now, he's racing away. Man, he is going fast. That's the first one I've seen for some time because it's so ripply now. Could be a fish down there, I'm not exactly sure to be honest. Might be weed. Yeah, that was a fish and I spooked it I think guys. And maybe they're getting a bit twitchy around lunchtime. That's a big fish, that one. Hmm, that's worth a look. I'm going to uh, have some lunch, get my bearings just to the left of this tree in case he comes back there. Is that him over there? Or is that a piece of weed? Yeah, I'm on. That was him. That was him. There's actually a piece of weed over there as well. Holy cow, this is a good fish, people. This is a good fish. I'll tell you what, this fly line is lucky. No question. I'm going to try and walk him up here. Oh, beauty. People, this is, I think this might be a lot bigger than I'm thinking. I haven't had a real look at it yet. Oh, that's a big boil. Oh, that's a big fish. That is a big fish. What is it, a rainbow or oh, a brown? I've gone all quiet. It's a rainbow. It's a rainbow, people. He's gone deep, he's gone sulking. I can't see him, the rod's whacked over. Oh my God, he's in the rushes. He's out. Be careful on this drag. He's one angry, angry rainbow, I can tell you that now. I've got to wind down short, I'm on the leader now. Oh, here he is. He's got that 
I don't think it's going in the net. I've gone all quiet. <laughs> this is a big fish. He's still not ready. No, oh, if he comes off, he comes off, whatever. Oh, there's no more. I can't give the rod any more. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, rod's absolutely flat out. I'm just worrying about that knot. I'm using an all bright knot, which normally has nine turns. I only put six in the knot. No, he's dripping. There we go. There we go. line off me but on the other hand at least he's he's out there a bit which is fine I don't need him in the rushes there's too much line on this reel it's jammy you can turn him around okay wow what a scrap He just won't roll. Patience pays, they say, but... I don't know. Oh, sorry, to, sorry to take so long with this fish, boys. Trust me, it's not Tony's tackle. It's not the line, the lead or anything, it's just the fish. I just can't quite get him to roll. I think I've got him. I'm here. Wow. <laughs> that, that is a big fish. That is a big old rainbow. Well, when I set this project, this target, of trying to catch some fish, on Tony's gear, <laughs> I never, I never really, I thought, well, I'm going to get some uh, three pounders or something. Um, no, I've caught something which is not a million miles away from a salmon. Oh my God, look at the size of that one. There we go, people. That is one big Avington rainbow. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> that is a thumper, is it not? See if I can move the camera this way, you can have a, a good look at him there. Big old head on him. I just saw what looked like a piece of weed. I didn't see the fish take at all. I just felt the tug. And there we go. And that's before lunch. He's nine plus, he's getting very close to the magic, you know what. Wouldn't that be something for Tony? Let's get him up there and weigh him. I think I've got straight away getting weighed. So Tony's gear held up pretty well. As you can see, we got one here. If I can get him on, it'll be the other side of five or six. Seven. That's seven, that one's seven pounds. Just over seven. Oh, that must make this one. Got to be over eight, nine. Let's get him in. There we go. Nine and a quarter, there he goes. So that's a Tony. That's a nice fish. That's a good one, isn't that? Nice and silvery. Nicely, uh, Nine and a quarter. Yeah, nine, nine and a quarter. Wow, nine that's nine some fish. fish for you people. Yeah. I'm just going around for my last walk around, guys. And there's a big fish right, right in front. I don't know whether I'm even going to get close to him without spooking him. This is a big fish. There's a lot of rubbish coming down. So we're gonna to have to watch the fish itself to see if he snaps at anything. 
worth a try, listen, it's worth a try. They must be clearing the grills off because there's a lot of rubbish circulating here, coming through from the river, uh, from the uh, inflow there and circulating all the rubbish. Well, I've come up to the catch and release lake to finish off. I've got fish hooked up here and uh, I'm hoping it might be a brown. But my, it's so windy before my hat got blown off. Now, get this loose line up and I can get on the fish a bit more. It's a good old splash, nothing like the other uh, the other fish I've had. Let's have a look at it. It just looked like it might be a brown. That would be something to finish off with. It's a pretty good fish, pretty good fish people. Very, very smooth drag on this too, this reel. I'm not sure I'm in love with the geared ratio business. Let's have a look at this. What is that? Whoa, hang on a minute, people. This might be something totally different. This might be, it might, might be a, a big tiger trout. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, he's pulling me right out. Oh. He's got that look about him. He might ping off. It's either a brown. Wow, that's a good fish. What a good fish. This is on the third lake. It is, I can't tell you how windy it is. It's just ripping. And all I'm doing is throwing my cast low through over that fence by the sheep. In fact, it's a wonder I don't get a sheep on the back cast. Don't know what you're going to get in this wind. Pictures of fish. Holy smoly, this kitty's going. What is that? What is that? Is it a brown? Is it a tiger? A cheetah? A zebra fish? I'll tell you what people, he's really going with. Oh, nice brown. This one, if I can get it out. This will be a close out fish for my challenge for Tony Palmer. Catching fish on his tackle, but it is a real, real nice brown. I didn't even know that in this lake this big, I've got to be honest. Oh, look at that fish. Oh, he's just laying on his side. Come on, just to ease him in. Oh, the old wrist is going to play up tomorrow, for sure. Give him some side strain. Oh, come on. That is a nice spanking brown, the markings on it. I hope, hope I can get it out for you. He's just locked and low. I think this one's been in here a while, people. Oh, I'm ecstatic with the markings on this thing. If I can only get him out. Getting a bit keen now. I don't like this reel on this right hand wind. You know, I don't think Aaron told me they're in here this big, these browns. Come on, babe, let's just see it. We don't want to see it. Let's catch a release here anyway, so you're going to come straight in and straight out. Wow, perhaps not straight out. Unbelievable scrap. Here he comes. Okay, this might be my chance. So just keep his head up. Go for it, Graham. Go for it. Go for it, mate. He's in. Wait till you see this one, people. Tony, mate, the tackle you sent is unbelievable. Just look at this fish. Going to keep him in the water. He's absolutely throated the fly. Absolutely got it. Now I'm going to keep him absolutely nailed it. Hold still, buddy. I'll get it out for you. I got it out. Look at this brownie. Oh. And it's catch and release. Boyce he's going straight back. Absolutely magnificent brownie. Let's get down there and recover this one. Because that is the best. I think that's my biggest brown trout catch and release, people. Let's make sure he recovers. Just see it there while he's recovering. Look at that fish. I tell you, he's going to go every bit of six pounds. I'm hoping he'll recover. Come on, babe. 
Who can do it? Here he goes. Oh, yes. Get in. Six pound brown, nine four rainbow. What a way to finish for Tony. So guys, I've come back down for the last walk around, get a few extra shots. I've had a brilliant session, but I was down there watching Aaron, the fishery manager, feed the browns, which he said, come and watch this, he said, because the browns are really starting to feed now. They, they you know, they're up and down. They're very tricky brown trout. And he said, watch this. And he, he was feeding pellets, but he said, if you watch the rainbows, you throw a handful of pellets in the pond for the rainbows, this is not the lake, this is not the lake guys, because I know people out there get mixed up between stock ponds and the fishery, where they grow the fish on, the fish farm. I'm going to call it the fish farm for all those people that on that OFA with how trout fishing works in the UK. The fish farm, where they grow the fish, they feed them on the pellets. He puts the pellets in, normally, normally he said, let's get out of this wind, let me go this side people, that's better. Normally he says, they'll be pouring across from one end of the lake to the other, just to get to the pellets, that's the rainbows. He said, watch, the browns don't do this. He said, you have got to go to the browns. You throw the pellets in, they're boiling this area. And he threw some pellets way down the other end and they came up there. But the ones down there did not come up here. So he said, that's a tip for fly fishing, is if you're going for a brown, make sure you try and target the area. Maybe you know they're in deeper areas, but you know, perhaps might be a, a deep channel, edge of a wee bed, somewhere that you think a big, predator type fish would sit up and basically sort of rest and or feed and then put your fly in there. Anyway I thought that was pretty interesting for you guys who like fishing for browns. There's a tip there, there's a totally awesome tip from Aaron the fishery manager of Arrington. I'm on the middle lake again, I've had a couple of bumps pulling there but it's so windy. I'm going to have a walk down this way up through there past the other gentleman. I have a go on the catch and release lake just to sort of finish off with and I'm going to walk back and I think I'm done because this wind is a, a bit much now, but you can see they've got these lovely little places you can sit out the wind. And do you know, all the years I've been coming here, I've never sat in these because I'm so rushed doing the fishing film. And fishing film, it's like a job, it's like business for me, you know? So you just got to keep straight at it. Um, it's quite pleasant to just sit here in these old stone seats and just look out at that scenery across there, the lake. My relaxation time generally lasts perhaps 30 to 45 seconds and I'm off fishing again because let's face it that's all I really know. Is that a fish over there? Guys, look where my line is. It's on the other side of the lake. <laughs> and he's still jumping over there. That's my back in there. Just slammed me. I don't think he's a big fish, but by golly, did he strip me out. I just feel so cack handed winding this reel backwards. I'm so pleased I'm not left handed. Actually, two different types of uh, fly line there. It's going tapered the other way now. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Now this is where this high speed reel thing is obviously a benefit. Look, I'm straight back on the fish on the other side of the lake. It's a rainbow. Going really well. The wind is a whistle. Whoa! Hopefully you're getting something of this. Oh, 
Just look at the speed. These clouds are whistling over there. So I'll give you a weather forecast as, uh, as I fight the fish. He's coming out. What a slamming take that was. And covered in blood from some of my own and some of other fish I've had such a day. It's been like commercial sea fishing for me today. I just need this. Maybe I'm going to... Ah, oh, there you go. Now, have you ever seen anybody fight a fish with the upside down and backwards? It is so much more comfortable on my wrist, I can't tell you. Put a lot more pressure. Here he comes. Not many people wanting to fish backwards, upside down, inside out. He's in. What a day. Look at that one. Beauty, boys.